Do you have a list of Instagram hashtags and you want to know which of those ones in your list are the best ones to use for your post? Well, in today's video, I'll show you how you can use the Instagram hashtag metrics generator from Keywords Everywhere to analyze which of your hashtags are the best ones you should be using for your posts. So let's get started. All right, so to get started using the Instagram hashtag metrics tool, you first need to install Keywords Everywhere. Now this is a browser add-on that you can install for Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. And once you have this installed, log in to your Instagram account in your browser, and you'll notice two new buttons on the left-hand side. Today, we will be focusing on the hashtags metrics button. So click on that, and that will open up this window. Now here is where you can enter your hashtags below separated by a comma, semicolon, or a new line. So I'm going to paste my hashtags on their own line like this. Now you can keep your hashtags as a single word without the spaces, or you can separate each word in your hashtag with spaces like this, and adding the hashtags in front of these keywords are not necessary. So once you have your hashtags listed out here, just click on Get Metrics for Hashtags, and Keywords Everywhere will analyze your hashtags and create this custom report for you. You can see how many Instagram posts are using your hashtags, and also what is the average search volume for these hashtags, the average cost per click, from Google Ads, the competition score from Google Ads, and that's from zero to one, the trend over the past 12 months, and the trending percentage. Now these metrics here come from the Google Ads Keywords Planner. You can filter by typing in specific numbers in these boxes, and you can sort them as well. Say for example, I want to sort my hashtags according to the ones that are most popular. So I'm going to click on this, and now it is sorted from the most used hashtag all the way down to the least used. Now looking at these metrics, you know exactly which of the hashtags you have are the best ones to use for your Instagram post. You can also edit the hashtags if you wish. You can also copy this entire table and paste it in a Google spreadsheet or save it as an Excel file a CSV, PDF, or even print out this table as well. Now, this tool is different than the Generate Hashtags button right here. This one allows you to generate new hashtags from a seed keyword, and you can check out that video on the screen right now. But aside from that, that concludes this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.